There we go. Are we live? <laughs> We're a little rusty. Holy cow. <laughs> It's been like two freaking weeks, guys. What are we even doing on this channel anymore? Oh, man. It's like we don't even know how to drink rum anymore. Oh, say it ain't so. Say it ain't so. Oh, my goodness, guys. It feels good to be back. Back on the live with you oh, guys, man. the community. We're I here. really miss this. I am really excited because Breyer needs to stop leaving town because how are we supposed to get anything done when he's not here, right? So while you guys are jumping on, uh, go ahead and let us know you're here in the chat. Yeah. Go ahead and let us know if you're drinking something. I'm going to jump onto the Facebook here real quick. Let everybody know uh, that we're here. We're doing this now to get some more people. Breyer's just going to hang out awkwardly, stare at you guys. That's what he does. He's just awkwardly staring. This is how rusty he is. <laughs> back for like 45 <laughs> seconds and I'm he, has, he has I'm nothing to say he has nothing to say he's already speechless oh i've got a lot to say oh my god i goodness. got a lot to tell everybody this is going to be a big show for this, you guys this, this. who don't know Royer, tell them a little bit about what we got coming on give okay. me some snippets so, okay so i did take a trip i was gone for a little while with the wife we took a little vacation down to uh panama city beach florida had a fantastic time we picked up uh some new rum uh, met some interesting people, some fun people down there, did a little bit of snorkeling, which I absolutely love to do, and uh, tried out my new snorkel mask uh, that my wife got for me for Christmas, and uh, I love it. Loves I love it. it. If you guys saw that in the little thumbnail there, he was wearing it. Why don't Bray put it on? Put right, it on. Right. What are we hang, doing? Hang on. Let me. People are let, missing let me, out. Let me get it. People are. Hey, oh, he's on. going down hang into on. the water. Hey, See, this is on. this is great. This is wow. There's a big suspense here. Everybody's really excited about. You better not disappoint. <laughs> he's even breathing weird. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this I is this. this is Royer's new snorkel. Oh. He loves it oh. so much that he wore it all day yesterday when he came home. He was in the pool out back just waiting. <laughs> it's like a kiddie pool, like two, like a foot like two, deep. Yeah, like and he's just staring at the bottom looking at sand from the yard, right? That's what he oh, does yeah. at home with this. So yeah. he's excited. I am. It was Pretty great. excited. I loved it. Hey, My, Michael McAllister, what's up? Welcome. <laughs> welcome into the chat. Hey, Mike. And uh, so we're really excited here. So obviously Royer took a trip. We also have so much rum. <laughs> that we don't even know how we're going to get through it tonight. But we are going to share with you bottles on bottles on bottles. Because while Royer was gone, this is what happened when he leaves, is we got shipments of rum. And I we mean did. three boxes we did. of rum. So, I mean, and then that's not including what he brought back. Nope. So, I mean... We literally have so much rum to cover. We're way excited about it. So make sure uh, you guys are hitting that like button. We're going to dive into some of this here. We appreciate you guys coming on. Um, Royer, let's start with your trip. Because okay. first of all, you didn't bring me, which was a huge I know. mistake. Big, yeah, like a huge big, mistake. I was really disappointed that, uh, yeah, I didn't bring you. Here I was on the beaches of Iowa, just sitting yeah. here by myself. Whatever. And I'm down there with afraid. my wife. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I missed you, pal. I know you did. He was probably, <laughs> I know he was thinking about me the whole time. You were thinking about me while you were on the beach, wondering what sure. I was up to here. Hey, we're, whatever gets you through the day. That's what gets me through the day. It makes <laughs> me right. feel better about myself because I didn't get to go, which is really saddening, right? So, I know. I know. We had a fantastic time. Uh, we we drank a little bit of rum. <laughs> I got we pictures like every day. If you guys are in the Facebook after hours group, he posted pictures there. They drank a lot of yeah. rum. Yeah, we did. We did drink a little bit of rum. Uh, we had a lot of fun at the beach. We really enjoy the beach a lot. Um, I enjoy the snorkeling. But uh, the funny thing about Panama City Beach, so we've never been there before. And right across the street from us, ironically, we didn't plan this, but ironically, ironically there's a liquor store right across the street from us. I'm oh, like, no. <laughs> I'm like, Who okay, fantastic. It? We'll go in there and we'll see if they got some new interesting rums that we can't get up here. Right? No, they wouldn't have none of that there, I'm sure. Right? It so, was all the same stuff, I bet. So it was. Actually, it was. <laughs> I was so disappointed wow I, i'll just leave it at that i, I, I was just extremely disappointed throwing shade you know, uh, at Panama they, City they, beaches liquor stores they, they they had one rum that uh was new it was a cruisian uh island spice island spice and we didn't bring any of that back because that was pretty good you found one new rum <laughs> and you didn't even bring it back <laughs> but this I'm, is why I'm i should hopeful, go on these trips well i didn't bring it back because i'm hopeful that we'll be able to find it here uh, in Iowa. Yes. You know, we do get a lot of cruising around yeah, here. We get so a lot of cruising, I feel so. like we can get our hands on it. Yep. And, uh, you know, I had somebody ask about the 
Alex, you asked about. I don't. I'm not sure if you're on tonight yet. Um, but Alex asked me if we had brought a CS key back. Uh, see any of the CS key rum? Um, no, I didn't bring any of that back because actually I've seen that around here. So uh, ironically enough, so I figured I'm not gonna put that in the in the check bag. But I did bring back a few bottles. A few bottles. A few just bottles. a few. Because and we're going to cover there, a few of them there, here there tonight. Is, there is a weight limit, so we could only bring back a few. But the, the neat thing, so if you haven't checked out the video yet, uh, we did a little video. My wife helped me do a little video down to ABC wine, Fine Wine and Spirits. A uh, shout out to Jackie, who will never probably ever watch this video. But <laughs> thanks for all your help, Jackie. We really appreciate it. Uh, she gave us an opportunity to uh, do some sampling, and uh, that we had a lot of fun doing that, as you can probably imagine. We couldn't, I, I really wanted to record that and share that with everyone, but she said that uh, she wasn't allowed to be in any of the videos and this type of thing, but blah, blah, blah. Royer's camera shy, so yeah. of course he Anyhow. didn't take any video, right? <laughs> yeah, that's why I posted some videos. Right. So uh, the first one I want to show everyone is the Cayman Reef. Cayman Reef. This is double black rum. It looks awesome. It just this, I love how dark it is. So I did a testing test taste on this. This th these are all good rums. This, this is a very good one. I I already sampled it. Very, very <laughs> already good. Said, shocker. Yeah. He's already tried the rum, guys. Yep, yep. It's not the first time he's gonna be drinking it. Nope. It's my first time because he left me at home. Can you believe that? What a jerk. <laughs> Christmas <laughs> presents are getting taken back. <laughs> Santa's watching in July. <laughs> so th this is uh, one of them that my wife found. And she loved the bottle because it has the palm trees, right? And this is uh, this is the Tropic Isle Palms Spiced Cask Rum. Yes. And we bought two of these, but we only brought one back. <laughs> yes, it's that good. So very, very much enjoyed that one. It's looking awesome. Chad Pike's coming in here. Leave the clothes. Bring the rum, for God's sakes, man. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Right? I love it. I know. I love it. That's awesome. <laughs> so this one, I this one I did not sample. I have no idea how this one is. Maybe some of you out there have seen this before. And Maybe your it. strength isn't good enough. Let me help you get it up there, there a little bit. Check it out. <laughs> I'm not even sure. Baco. Maybe you Baco. guys haven't seen this before because you still can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> so this is an eight-year rump. And uh, looking forward to trying this. It's awesome. Right? What else do you got down there? We got this one here. So, Paul from Drums and Rum, I was thinking of you when I spotted this. For those of you who don't know, that's a podcast, Drums yep. and Rums. We did an episode on there. Um, so, he, Paul he, is the guy who runs it. Fantastic that. guy. Does a fantastic job. But this is Rock and Rum. Rock and Rum. Right? So, I'm not sure if any of you have ever seen this or ever had it. I have not sampled this one, but looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. It looks awesome. It looks absolutely amazing. As we get the new people on here, make sure you guys are hitting that like button. Let us know in the comments you're here. We don't know you that you're here unless you tell us you're here. So we love, we see the number go up, but we just love to know who's all a part of it. Um, feel free to let us know if you're having a drink tonight, what you're drinking as well as Royer showing off yep. all his new fancy rums <laughs> from his big old trip. Thanks for the likes, guys. For every like, Royer's going to do a shot. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just no, kidding. I'm He's not, not actually going to do no, that. No. Although we probably get 500 <laughs> likes, we better not do that one. So this is another Tropical Isle Palms. This is the Caribbean rum. Uh, again, we bought a few of these, but only one of them made it back. <laughs> That's the best way to make it happen, though. I mean, really. And I saw something I never saw before. This is the El Dorado 15 year. In a mini bottle. In a mini bottle. Mini glass, mini bottle. glass bottle. Looks nice. So I brought back a few of these. Um, yeah, we'll see what see what it's like, right? We're gonna, we're gonna so. get to try the 15 year in small mini size, just drinking junior returns. That, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, one of the things I wanted to uh uh point out. Has anybody out there noticed anything different behind the bar tonight? There is something different. Who can name what's different yeah. in this live, when in shot, this video? Shout it out to us. There is know. something about this video that's for Some the first time difference. ever making its debut yes. with us. So yes. we're pretty excited about it. We'll be talking about it a little later yep. on. Yep. Michael so McAllister. So take a look around. Take a look around. There's a big <laughs> hint for you. <laughs> <laughs> Tell Roger if he if he doesn't bring you to the next trip, I'm gonna film another video. 
<laughs> that's amazing. So, yes. so a little background <laughs> I, insight. I got a big kick out of that. A little background insight. Michael McAllister sent us a video this last week of him eating raisins. Two boxes at a time. Two boxes at a time. What a man. Claiming <laughs> There's himself, no way I could do that. Claiming himself the Raisin King. He which was. We have he crowned is. Michael yes. McAllister the Raisin King. From here on out. From here on out. Royer has been <laughs> yes. dethroned. Yes. He is no longer the Raisin no. King. He cannot <laughs> handle two boxes of rum no. or boxes of raisins no. at there, the same there's time. There's no way. It was amazing. There's it was a hilarious no video. Hilarious, hilarious video. If we get some permission, <laughs> we might have to put that video up in the after hours. <laughs> yeah. We might have to share that video over. If we get, Maybe Michael will go over to the after hours yeah. and post that video. It's yeah. pretty amazing. Please. Please pretty do. Pretty amazing. So I, I, I thought it was pretty fun. It's awesome. I thought it was pretty fun. So we uh, we definitely have a lot more rum to cover here. Is that all your rum from Florida? That is it. All right, this trip to Florida. We are just getting started, guys. We so we are, we are excited to announce we have another shipment of rum. We got a whole shipment of Mexican rum in this last week, which we, we are really really excited about. So we're gonna start you running through those. We're gonna show awesome. we're gonna show them through. I'm, I'm okay. gonna debut because we have a lot of rum coming up. It's gonna be a while before we can get through all of this. So, <laughs> so I want to make sure you guys get first chance of we looking need, at it here. You do apply ourselves. That's so, all. so we did get two bottles of rum from Deadhead Rum, and so I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Deadhead Rum, but they have the coolest freaking bottles <laughs> I have ever seen. And just so you know, the rum is pretty damn good. The too. rum is pretty damn good. We have sampled, I think. Every almost every new rum yes. that we're getting here, we, yes. we one of us has at least tried, except for a few. But yes, we did get these in. We did these in a sampling with rumratings.com. We ended up uh, ordering ourselves some bottles because they were really fantastic. These are really really cool rums. Um, so we're really looking forward to doing this. This one's a chocolate. This one's more of a aged uh, rum. So it's it's just really this really. This one cool. is really dangerous. a chocolate rum that is, is dangerous. Dangerous. So you guys will not very, be disappointed. And these two rums coming up, we're really excited to yeah. get into those. We'll a little tell bit. you more about it later. We're gonna have to tell you a lot about it. There's so much information <laughs> about it, right? How do I how do I get to the after hours, Michael? Great question. I'm so glad you asked. You go over to Facebook.com. You go ahead and type up there. Go to your groups and type in just drinking. It should pop up. But if you type in just drinking after hours, we have a group that will pop up that you can join. Um, it is where we post some overflow content. We post our videos when we're going live, all that stuff there. A um, little bit of an overflow spot. Royer posted some stuff from his trip in there. So we try to just incorporate some extra stuff over there. So go check that out. Make sure you guys uh, go check out the after hours. We'd love to have you over there. Vlado coming in here, drinking Franken. Oh, gosh. Franken-Zizaner German, German style, style wheat beer. 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 Bear. It's beer. a bear. It's a beer. It's a bear. Beer. He clearly typed bear. <laughs> He's drinking a German bear. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All my rum bottles are unfortunately empty. Well, that's, oh, you know, that happens. Say it ain't so. That happens. That's so say sad, though. So. I yeah, feel, bear. see, I bear. told you. But bear would have been so much cooler, wouldn't it, though? <laughs> wouldn't it have just been cooler if it was a bear? It just seems, I told you. you know, with German, you know, it just seems manlier, right? It just seems tougher. I like it. I think it sounds cool. So beer would have been great. So beer, that's awesome. That, that's awesome. That is a pretty sad story, though. When, when, when your rum's, rum's all gone? All gone. Why must the rum be gone? Why is it? Why is the rum gone? That's amazing. Right? So speaking of that, too, so this just jogged my memory a little bit. So Royer's got this new, <laughs> if you saw the thumbnail, his new little suction mask thing here. <laughs> I'm thinking we need to convert this into a way to pour rum through the top. Like I have no, this. We're not doing I that. I think we could come up with a conversion no. to be able to dump no. rum through it that goes into the spout, right? No. I feel like that would be a great no. way to consume rum. <laughs> yeah. Quickly no. on the no. go while you're this, swimming. This is how I like to consume my rum. Oh, come right on. Like It'll be amazing. You're going to love it. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be way better than it was before. <laughs> you're going to enjoy it. It's going to be so good. No, we'll yeah. we'll talk about we'll it. Talk All about right, it. it's not off the board yet. It's going on the whiteboard. We love it. <laughs> we don't have a whiteboard. I'm gonna go buy a whiteboard. I'm gonna put it on there. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be amazing. It's amazing. Well, let's show some of the other rum. We appreciate you guys up. new coming in here. Make sure you guys are hitting that like button as we get into some more. Let rum. us know where you, where you're from, what you're drinking, what you're drinking, what you're doing, where you where you work. I don't know. You can tell us whatever you want. We love having to talk with you guys. Uh, so we have a lot of new rum coming over here. So yes, that's not all of it yet. So I'm going to start pulling off some of these bottles. I'm going to start handing them off. pretty cool. So we got some Cosmel rum yes. coming in. And we have uh, we have a couple more of these, too, these are coming hand over. These are hand-blown glass bottles that they have specially made for their rum. Yes. This is Cosmel Rum Company. 
And uh, these guys make a lot of different variations of rum. Yes. They are off of a port in Cozumel yep. there. They, they have a main shop there and they have a distillery there. Um, so if you guys are ever cruising to Cozumel or travel there, um, you can check out their distillery. But we got to talk with them, see some of their different yes. rums. And they They're just have these very cool, very cool bottles, hand-blown glass, just a very cool design. All really, really unique very flavors. Very cool rum company. Very excited to talk with more, with you guys more about these yeah. as these reviews will be coming up. These are some sweet if, bottles if, of if rum. If you see any of these anywhere in your travels, on the shelves, Prepare wherever. to make all of your friends wish they were you. Yep. You got to get what you happens. yourself at least one of these. That's exactly what happens. Or all of them. Why limit yourself? <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't set ceilings. I was going to say, we, we don't have any limitations here. We're not we're not setting ceilings over here. So there's there's a lot of rum <laughs> that we obviously have coming in here. So there's there's all these. So this is not all of the new no, rum, but this is the is majority. Not. This is the majority of the new rum that came in. We're gonna leave it at that for the moment. We do we do have some rum on standby, but for the love of God, how much rum can we handle, <laughs> guys? There is so much rum, and we love it too because some of them are are uh, asked us for us to review by you guys. Yeah. Some of them are companies sending us stuff, which is really awesome. We actually have a few more rums that we're gonna talk about before this show is over. Yes, but let's we do. let's jump over here real quick. So. Time limit, measurement marks, beautiful, beautiful. They are, they are beautiful, beautiful bottles of rum. Um, I definitely think that the bottling makes such an experience with the rum. First of all, it makes your friends wish they were you, which is yep. always a plus, it's right? It's cool just makes you shelf. feel better about yourself, right? <laughs> and then <laughs> obviously, we all feel better when we're drinking rum, right? <laughs> we're drinking rum and when it looks cool, that's right? It's what, it's what it's all about, right? So. Use those bottles to make the bar lights. Get rid of those hideous Budweiser lights. Yeah, hideous. thank you. I understand. Hideous. I understand. Right? Hideous. I, I understand. Gosh, they, how they, dare we? Speaking of some of that stuff, you know, we are going to be having to redo some of this back here. Yes, we are um, planning on some reconstruction of the bar yes, because we, we have a lot of new stuff coming in. We've got lamps on the other side of the room for different rum bottles. Uh, we, we got uh, really bad rum. We have some lamps that yeah. we kind of have in the making right now. Yep. And obviously we got new stuff. And if you guys haven't figured it out already, there is something new behind us, which you may have never yeah. seen before. I'm not really sure where that could be. But it could possibly be this <coughs> beautiful, beautiful sign up here are just drinking, just rum, just a sign. Yes. So we want to take a moment to thank our really good friends over at Just Rum. Yep. If you guys don't know who that is, you can go back and watch our videos uh, we reviewed. Um, it's a all, really, really cool all, all company of their rum. out of Sandy, Oregon. Yes, and we reviewed their rum. They're just, just Rum is the name of their company. It goes really well with Just Drinking, right? So fact, that's what I'm having tonight. That's right. So we, uh, they actually went ahead, combined their logo with ours, made this really cool sign that we're actually going to get hung officially yes. back here right now. It's just kind of sitting up here, but we're going to redesign some stuff, but we wanted you guys to see it because we just thought it was freaking cool, right? Like this just looks awesome. So it's finally good to have some rum related to cooler back here, to cooler, to cooler, I don't know, whatever you want to say. And that. yes, we will get rid of the Budweiser stuff. Who needs Budweiser stuff, yeah, right? That's, that's the, Budweiser. That's, yeah, we're getting rid of that. What is that's that, water? Going up for sale. Is that some water brand? Soon. Is that like Fiji? <laughs> Fiji water. <laughs> it's a Bavarian water. Oh, is it yeah, Bavarian ba water? Bavarian water. It's a yeast, a little wheat water, something like that. <laughs> It's awesome. So, yeah, so we're getting into a lot of stuff. I know we've covered a lot of rum already in this show. We're like 18 minutes in. We've gone yep. through like 19 bottles of rum already. So this one's going quick. If you guys are just coming in, let us know in the comments you're here. Throw us a thumbs up. Let us know. Um, show the love a little bit. We're building that community. One of the exciting things, too, I want to touch base on. It's been, it's been literally like, oh, my gosh, there's things popping up on your screen right here. Are we yep. going to get kicked off? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, hopefully we're just, still here, but we have something in front. Of, I can't. So it's yeah. there. So we're we're gonna keep we'll going. Around it. We can't see, but, but we're gonna keep going. So uh, we actually had um, some new stuff come out on uh, on our. Oh my gosh, it's just blowing up. No, no. It'll go away. It, will it? It will. will it go away? It will. We're gonna get kicked off of here. I swear to God, it's gonna well, happen. We'll come back on. We're freaking out. He's freaking out. So just drinking the You'll YouTube channel. Drink the rum. The You'll YouTube be fine. <laughs> The YouTube channel is actually uh, at 800 subscribers, which is That's really, really you. exciting. Thank you. Thank you to you guys. This community is freaking awesome. We love doing this for you guys, to getting to do this for you each and every week. 
um, being able to come on here and show you guys new rums, try new rums, help get more rums into your liquor stores and help kind of find a way to spread that rum, that craft rum across the country. It's because of you guys. And so it's just really cool to see that we keep growing. It's because of every time you guys hit that thumbs up, every time you share it with friends, family, or people on your social media, every time you leave a comment, it makes a difference in our channel. So a huge thank you to this community because yeah. you guys are absolutely awesome. Um, it, it enables us to do more for you right try some different things when we hit uh, a thousand we will be able to do more for yeah. you guys which we're really excited about we get extra tools when we hit a thousand right so we get to be <laughs> cool right so we're really excited about that so 800 is a great step i think 801 is the number we're at right now so that's really exciting so the more the more that we get the better we just love seeing it grow um getting to that thousand so we can give you guys a little bit more but a huge thank you to you guys want to give you guys yes. a pat on your back because without this community i don't know how in the I world love this community we too. would be able to do this and so Such fun people it's super awesome this, this people, rum all people. the ventures is because of you guys which is really cool so uh going on here what do we got next we have so much to talk about it's been two weeks guys what are you guys up to <laughs> you know, leave us a comment how's your last two weeks yeah. been Mine's been sad because Royer left me at home and he went to the beach in Florida. But whatever, <laughs> I did. you know, I hope you guys had a great time. We're better than mine, as I was painfully sitting at home all on my lonesome. But whatever. I love the seafood. Besides love the, the rum. Point. Yeah, talk. Love rub the it in some beach. More. It's fine. Love the snorkeling. I'm not sad or anything. You know, had a great time. I didn't cry. Got a little sunburned. Oh, you stayed back here and you drank most of my damn rum. Anyhow, I, I did. Most is an overstatement. <laughs> thank you very much. If I were to drink most of your rum, I'd still be sleeping. So that's probably true. So let's let's keep it in perspective, okay? I drank a some fair amount of rum of your rum. Yes. All right. So, um, so we had a cool. Uh, speaking of kind of some of the stuff, we we talked a little bit about Michael McAllister sending us a video yes. of him becoming the Raisin King, right? Yes. Which we hope that ends up on just drinking after hours. He's going to try and find his way over there. We actually got a picture uh, in there of Jeremy, Jeremy Page, Page. Who Shout out to Jeremy Page. Who went out and found one of Royer's shirts <laughs> from the show, bought it, and took uh, a picture in it. No, and sent actually, it to his us. wife went out uh, and found it, and she bought it. She gave it to him as a present. And uh, I just, I thought that was pretty cool. Which is amazing because, guys, we don't even know where you could get it because you literally got it at a garage sale. Well, we picked it up, yeah. <laughs> At a garage sale. At a garage sale, yeah. And so we had no idea where it had come from. But I, I we we shared uh, the maker of the shirt with his wife. And, and they went she, out and tracked it down. Contact. They went out and tracked it down. Yep. They found it. Yep. It's beautiful. It's that beautiful <laughs> blue flowered one with the with the women all in the flowers, whatever, that he wears yep. all the time. It's over in his wardrobe over there. I don't know. He's got a whole wardrobe <laughs> over there now. So Vlado coming in here. I'm a Jägermeister fan, but never mix it with Red Bull or anything. Only neat. My favorite rums are El Dorado 15, Diplomatico Reserva Exclusive. Exclusive. Woo. 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 Careful. Don't hurt I'm yourself. I'm rusty. Are you okay? Rusty. Are you that's, okay? That's rusty. I'll tell you what. So that's awesome. So the El Dorado 15, that's the small bottles that Royer just brought back. So we're going to be trying that here soon. We've only had the 12 year. I could, so, only, I, I could only bring the small bottles The back. small ones. Just Drinking Junior <laughs> is going to make a Actually, return. we can get the large bottles here, but I'd never seen the small bottles it's before. It's just better that way, small. right? It makes you feel cool. Pocket size. Right? Fits in your fanny pack that Royer wears all the time. I don't know what he's doing over here. Okay. He's playing so, Minesweeper. Mike, Mike, I've got you taken care of. We, we're going to... Uh, Oh, he's there, there you go. Approved him in. Mike, <laughs> welcome to After Hours. Yep. If you guys haven't been over to the Facebook group and the Just Drinking After Hours, go find us over there. Um, it's not a lot of extra stuff, but we throw in the yeah. extra stuff over there. So we love having you guys. Yeah, we've seen it. So we're, we're good. We're good. Yeah, we're, we got, we you, got you accepted. You're over in there. So um, what else do we got? God, I feel like we're talking Jeremy about so Page. much tonight. I feel like I've been running through a list in my head and I'm sweating. Well, one thing that I was doing is I, I sent uh, John... Uh, text to see if he's going to be jumping on with us john tonight. from just rum yep well john speaking of that son. so there is a next step gosh we yes. still the list goes on i knew there was more yep. guys we've got a box to open with no you. hey hang on i'm about he's ready to make on. My, i'm about empty i'd like to make myself another drink you see this guys this is what i work with he's making you wait just, not me wait oh you can go ahead and listen jabber <laughs> Fucking jibber jabber about what other kind of shenanigans you, you, shenanigans. you hooligans talk about. That's how he talks about me, okay? Old man McGee over here yelling at me to get, off his, get off his lawn. So it's I'm going to share with everybody what I'm having this evening, right? Just rum, uh, the Oregon Oak Rested. It's amazing. This is what I'm having. 
I'm venturing That's... over into the coconut cartel. Oh, yeah. I got the coconut cartel tonight is what I'm dipping into. It's been a while since I've had it, so it just sounded good for the evening. Absolutely. So we're going to mix up some other drinks over here, I guess, because Royer's thirsty. And yep. It is hot down here. I say we, I think I'm drinking more because they keep their house at like 900 degrees. <laughs> it is not true. It's like, seriously, it's like elderly folks over here. It's like, what am I living in here? I'm dying. Like, here's an air conditioner. You know, you own oh, one, goodness. right? Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. So, we were trying to save money while we were gone, so amazing. we set it up a little bit. Le Chef coming in here. Roger needs a utility belt for all these small bottles. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I do. Yes. You're right. I do. Oh, we need to get him the a utility. Rum man. The rum A rum belt. A utility <laughs> belt for rum. We could trademark that. I'm sure we could come out with one of those. Why the heck couldn't we? That'd be fun. That'd be awesome. That we need to get fun. you like a Rambo one that goes across that has slits in it that you just like pull the bottles out. Don't worry, I got it. I'll be back. Wrong guy, but that's oh, okay. fine. Close enough. Got your action heroes mixed up there a little bit. I'll be back. It's not Rambo. It's close. No cigar. It's awesome. Um, video is in the comment section. Awesome, awesome. So if you guys are interested in the in the raisin video, go check out the after hours. Go, go see the, what Mike posted. Go under the live and go see what Mike posted. You can see that video he sent to us earlier this week. And how he got crowned the king of raisins, the raisin king, right? <laughs> Which rum do you find to have the most intense tobacco, tobacco. aroma? Aroma, there, just there. the smell, not so much of a smoky hmm. flavor, but aroma. I do think El Dorado is a big one for that. I think that's one of the things I've pointed out yeah. in the reviews for that is it's got such a smoky. So, yeah. Um, that was the 12 year, not the 15, because right. we, we haven't had the 15 yet. But I imagine it's probably a build on that since it's just longer age. Um, but, yeah, I mean, that's the one that comes to my mind right away. I'm going to look back here. I'm going to cheat real quick. Just kind well, of venture through. and to be fair, um, I mean, we... <laughs> I can't, I can't really, I think for that specific flavor. Well, see, I think real McCoy, aroma, real McCoy me. does a good job of it too. I think real McCoy, uh, you think 12 that's year, I think it's, I think tobacco it, aroma? I think it's got a little bit in there. I'm just trying to think of what kind of crosses that same El Dorado, um, kind of hints of that. So I think that that kind of hits this, the 12 year, I think does not the five year. Um, so just getting into some of that stuff, I think, I think, uh, hit some of that tobacco, um, I'm trying to think what else we have. We haven't had a ton in that smoky section of stuff. Rum Barbancourt probably has a little bit of yeah, that. Yeah, I think, I think you're right. Rum Barbancourt does a pretty yep. good job of that. I, that the, if you I, haven't I, had yep. any Rum Barbancourt, I'd definitely tall. venture. I know. Wow. We do rum. I'm, really, really, I'm surprised that you could actually think of that. You guys realize we drink rum for, for the show, right? <laughs> He's surprised, surprised that I can name rums. Wow. That somebody I'm gives surprised. me a certain flavor aroma and I can name more than one. These are, the ex, these are the expectations I live up to. Like, I, check, check Mike's comment. Check Mike's out. comment. So we got moving down here. Um, <laughs> so with the utility belt, the ruminator. The ruminator. He'll be the ruminator. He'll be the ruminator. We'll get Royer a utility belt for rums. He'll become the ruminator. We're going to have to do a whole action series of Royer <laughs> doing stunts with rum. It'd be cool if we came out with our own comic book. It's amazing. You know what's awesome is we actually have a rum cannon. Like, we do. We we actually yeah, it's it's actually <laughs> so we're gonna incorporate that with the utility belt, and I think we can make him into the best rum action hero in the history of time. I think we can get this done. Like we have a couple things that I think could play into our favor. So we might have to make that happen in a video, and that might be coming soon. So one of the things that we were talking kicking around a little bit before we went live tonight. Was we've got another box down here? We do have another box. So more rum. Can I, you believe I, it? I don't. I don't think John's hopped on yet. No, nope, but we're gonna but open it anyway. I can't wait any longer. Can't wait any longer. I just can't. Michael so. McAllister coming in here. We'll do a show: the Ruminator versus the Raisin King. <laughs> that just Very sounds nice. like a Warner Brothers like next best best performing movie of the year. Like I'm gonna win an Oscar, an that Emmy, would be or something. Hilarious. It's gonna be awesome. That would the Ruminator be versus the Raisin King. Love it. So we are cracking into a box over here. We did get a box in from Just Rum. Came in no with idea this cool in. sign that they gave us. A yeah. huge, huge props to them for getting us this sign. Um, so we're really excited they, they about have it. Some really cool stuff. They do at, at their website. So you can go so over to justrum.com. This, this is this is a shirt that uh, that we got from them. Yes, we got. They got these really cool glass coasters. They got these glasses. They're all etched. Um, they, they've just got 
a lot of really cool stuff. You got to check them out at just justrum.com. It's amazing, right? So we got a big old box here. All right. <laughs> looks like looks like we got a couple of oh. rums. <laughs> All right. Very nice. So these are two rums that you guys have oh, not seen check here this before. Label out. We are we are all super excited for these. I know we've talked oh, about it a couple of times, but we finally these, have got them in. Oh, these are so Listen cool. Listen to him. He's like doing this like These oh, are so cool. Yes. Check this out. Man, it's amazing. Check this out. Okay. So this, whoop, hang on. What? I think I think you're good. He's gonna hang take. On, hang, he's got a phone. A friend on. coming in here, so I'm gonna hey, tell hey, you guys a little bit. John's calling right now, so <laughs> having hey, internet God. problems. Uh, so we have the seasonal spice. So this one came out as a seasonal oh, hey, no, spice, no, no, supposed no to be problem. kind of a holiday no thing no, that good. jumped on. Um, so we're okay. really excited to get we're that and try that one. Right um, they have a couple that they do that they bring on and, and do some. They try some different okay. sampling take of some different pipe. flavors. This guy's just talking behind me the whole time, right? Sorry, that was John. Right? Sorry. So, <laughs> so, check this out. So this is pretty darn cool. Try to get this up here for you guys here a little bit so you can take a little closer look here. So that Just is, Rum and Spices, the seasonal that, spice that, rum. That is their new label. This was their old label. Yes. Right? So they did revamp. We did help them a little bit with the revamp of the, uh, the, the new suggestion. label. The right? suggestion. We gave some suggestions on some things they could do. So yep. they had an older label. Um, they redesigned it a little bit, and I think it's just a really, really good Check this coin job. out. So this coin, oh, man, th th this is just, it's just, you got to go find yourself you, a bottle. You got to go, you find, gotta yourself go find yourself a bottle. bottle. Listen to this guy. You got to, you got to <laughs> you go gotta. find one. You, you just got it. This is, this is you awesome. You get in the car, you start it up, <laughs> you drive to Sandy, Oregon, you buy yourself a case, and you drive home. This, this is awesome. This is, I mean, this They've got the branding, they've got, but not just the branding, okay? They've got an incredible, unique flavor as well. So He hasn't really, even tried this rum yet, but it's unique. But it's, I, don't, I don't have to. You know why? Because check this out. We've got one, two, three, four other flavors yes. sitting back here on the bar, and they are all different. They're all unique. I don't have to know. I don't have to taste this to know that this is going to be another unique, delicious flavor. Right, it's true. So check check it out. If you can find some, right, you know, reach out to them. That's awesome. They, they might be able to get you set up. Love it. So we got we got a couple things coming in here. So uh, in all seriousness, check my last message on the Facebook later. To let me know if you're interested. All right, we're getting we're getting messages to do stuff. If you guys want to message us stuff, you can send us messages. I will we'll answer. All right. So um, hold on. I'm moving through right, some right, comments. Right, Calm right, down. Right. Simmer down over here. here. I know. I'm Just excited. Calm down. I'm going to make it. I'm pumped. I believe in you. <laughs> cool. Dang. All right. I remember when Robert was joking that he can clearly identify uh, and clove flavors and cardamom. <laughs> yeah. I can. No, I can still cannot. do that. No, that's, he that's a skill I still have. I, I don't know what you mean about joking. That's a, that's yes. a skill I've clearly <laughs> obtained no. and can he, still he do. Can not <laughs> No, no, I can't. But I do like to claim that I can, and I will try to pick it out, but I can't yet. Uh, man, I just want some Just Rum here soon. We hope that they get to some more places. Go check them out okay. on JustRum.com so that you can find some more. I know, you're just right. you're getting all excited. Hold are on. you about done? No, there are comments. The oh people are more God. important than you. I'm just saying, everybody in this chat section, I take more importantly than Royer's feelings over here. So just so you know where you range on my order of, like where where I put things, you're ahead of Royer. And then Le Chef is asking, is that a challenge coin? Um, actually, it's just a coin. Just a coin. It's just not coin. a challenge coin. So I'm gonna try and. Although I do feel like we need to start a game in real life where we each carry our coin, and if we catch each other out without the coin, that would be amazing. So check this out. Check this out. These are their new ones too. These so are their new they ones. do new ones every year. Is that yeah, what I it is? So. They I do yearly so. coins, kind of like not, that's on one side. This is on the other. So that's pretty cool. I love these. They're very, very nicely done. Very nicely done. It's awesome. So I got to show you this last rum that they that yep. they sent. To so us. we got a second rum. We got a second rum from them. This, this the new guys coming on. Hit that like button. Very. We're exciting. about to get to see a brand new rum. Yes. So this is just rum. With blackberries. It's a blackberry rum. Blackberry rum. So check that out. Now, this is this does now you might be thinking that there's a lot of added sugar and that's what I stuff. was thinking. 
It is not. It's you like would Royer be wrong. Put a whole cup of sugar. Because I've already talked to John about this. This does not have the added sugar or any of that type. It's of the stuff natural sugars from the berries. From the berries, right? So what what the suggestion is is that you want to uh, pour yourself a little bit of uh, lemonade, right, and uh, put some of this right on top, right right on top of that lemonade, and it will mix. Very, very nicely. You don't even need to mix it in or anything like that. Just drink it just like that. And uh, so I'm looking forward to really trying that. Do not mix. He, he warned. Do not mix this with pop. Don't waste it. Don't, don't, don't waste the rum on mixing it with pop. Key can, facts from you, the you, distiller. You, 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 you can drink it on its own. And, uh, but it's really, really delicious when you mix it with lemonade. It's awesome. So. Um, yeah, so please, please go check it out. Uh, these are the new ones that uh, Just Rum has put out. We're really excited to try them. Well, like I said, we are. if you guys are just jumping on, if you haven't been watching, we have a lot of new rum coming out. I'm trying to get videos out as fast as we can. It's not our full time job yet, right? Nope, we're still trying. Yet. We're still trying new rums for you guys. We can we're not there yet, but we are at 800 subscribers because of you guys. We're almost to a thousand. We are so excited to be at that number. It means the world to us because honestly, it means that we get to keep trying new rums. People keep sending us rums. We keep getting suggestions. Every comment, like, share means everything to us. So really, really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for making this the coolest community to get to be in front of. Check it out. Jeremy Page joined us. Jeremy Page is here. Shout out to you, Jeremy. Shout out, Jeremy Cheers. Page. So we I are, like the shirt. We already covered that. We did already cover it. If you guys uh, go back and watch the video, but Jeremy went out and found one of Royer's classic His wife shirts. found it. From the show. Him. His wife found it because we all know wives are better, right? <laughs> I love you. So so we all know that they're better, our better half. So she went yep. out and got it for him and he's got a brand new cool shirt. So we're yep. excited we were excited to see that um thank you for the close-up of the coin is the blackberry rum available now sounds refreshing yes, it is it is it is available now <laughs> sounds refreshing to woo the ladies the lovely <laughs> ladies yes there you go this is it this this if you are looking to woo the ladies okay here we go because nothing woos late i'm gonna make a whole commercial for them ready all right here you go are you looking to woo the ladies? Because nothing will. I am. You are? I am. Oh, you've come to the right place. Because right. nothing woos the ladies like a little Just Rum oh. Blackberry rum. It's Very delicious. Nice. Very How nice. would I mix that? You would mix it with some lemonade oh. and the ladies become wooed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's, it happens exactly like that, guys. That was a real-life scenario we just recreated. That's exactly how it will happen. So you have to get yourself some Just Rum. Is, yeah. it bla is it blackberry blackberry rum? Just rum. Blackberry rum. Blackberry rum. So you got to go get some. It's forty percent. Um, and we 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 cannot attest to it not wooing the men is either. So if you ladies need to pick up a bottle, yeah. it will woo the men. Yeah, yeah. Or is that what the seasonal spice is for? Is the seasonal spice for wooing the men? It could be. Is that I what mean, it is? Hey. We're gonna. We're, we're now teaching you how to your pickup game, right? For all you single That's ladies a whole and different gentlemen channel. Out here. <laughs> just, just drinking presents picking up the ladies and and the and the men with rum. We can do this. This is great. It's absolutely great. Um, so Vlado coming in here. What's your opinion, opinion on, on white rums? rums? Okay, so is there a specific white rum that you're looking for an opinion on? Because we've had a few. There's a there's a wide range there. Yes, so when, there you, is. when you get into white rum, it can be a dangerous game because it's clear there there's not a lot to see from it. So you really have to pay attention to the bottle, the ingredients, and the distillation process. So the thing about white rum is most people will refer to white rum as a mixing rum for cocktails and such. So you get like a Don Q Cristal, something simple, white, um, like that, because it's made for mixing cocktails, right? But you can also get into some rums that are white that have tons of flavor. Hence, at Modern Matriarch, yes. right? They are all clear rums. Well, almost all. Not all, but almost all. But, like, this one is a clear rum. You can see right through it, right? It is a salted caramel rum, though, and it is most definitely delicious, um, all natural flavoring, absolutely amazing, but you would not expect the clear white to be as smooth and delicious as it is. Then you have this. Just rum. This will put hair on any <laughs> chest, man, woman, whatever. <laughs> this this will set you back. You will. This will set you back in your seat. So, yes, just rums, a simple white. 
There is nothing simple about this. There's nothing simple. <laughs> if you guys want to know what we're talking about, go check yeah, out go our check Just out. Rum Simple White Review, and you will know exactly what we mean. Yep. That will tell you everything and, you need and to know. Just, just so everyone knows, we are always very honest with our reviews. Uh, and so if, if you don't believe that, uh, go, go check this one out. Uh, this is not one of our favorites, but, uh, but John, John, but they are one of our favorite companies and there is a huge group of people that love that kind of rum. There is. It's just a this certain not flavor. Our palate. Uh, it's we a certain kind of strong. flavor. We're not, <laughs> we are not that strong. I'm not strong in general. Like I'm a, I'm not a very large individual. I'm <laughs> Hey, Royer, ask me how tall I am. It's my favorite question. Royer, ask me how tall I am. How tall are you? I'm 69 inches tall. <laughs> Okay, so I'm, so not, I'm not a big guy. So I'm going to do a special shout out right now for somebody. Oh, gosh, I can't wait. Is it somebody <laughs> that nobody knows? This is amazing. So, Jimmy, this one's for you. Jimmy. Special just shout out. Just all the Jimmys out there. <laughs> no, actually, Jimmy from Just Rum. Jimmy from Just Rum. I understand that, that you're watching right sense. now. So thank you for uh, taking part in this uh, video. And here's to you, pal. This one's for you. you. Did good. Did good. We are excited. We do have the sign back here for the new people jumping on. Hit that thumbs up button, guys, because we have tons of new rum. You're gonna have to go back and watch this whole video. We talked about tons of rum I, that we just I got don't in. I don't know how many bottles we boxes even went of rum. We we literally the the title is not wrong. How much rum can we possibly handle? Do you, do you want to cover the other ones? I mean, we know we we just cannot I mean, keep pulling got, out rums. I mean, I mean holy we, cow. We, we, Received another. Shipment. We have another room started where we are filtering <laughs> the overflow. Wife might be watching this. So let's take that wait. back. Shh. I think she's home. Shh. But there don't is more anybody. rum. There is more rum. Don't tell. <laughs> don't tell mom. Right. But there's more rum in the other room. Right. So it's overflowing Shh. from here. So there's just a lot of rum going on. Uh, we're gonna get. We got a suggestion here from Michael McAllister that we could just change the name of the show to Just Dating. The new <laughs> yeah. channel. Room. The new channel name. I just think dating. I think we can improve on it. I think we should call it just dating with rum. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> wow! I, just dating that, with that, rum. That could be a. Little I mean, we we <laughs> rum makes everyone happier, get along better. We can definitely find you a connection using rum. I'm positive. Some that good good salad. There relationships are relationships are built. everywhere built on rum being <laughs> being that first foundation. Yeah, that's I guarantee right. it. That's right. So they don't always last, but they happen all the yep, time. They so. do. <laughs> we're getting off topic. I'm yeah, going. We are. I'm we, going. We're going clear going a different, so different far direction. Left yeah. field right let's, now. Let's not go there. Let's not go there. That's a whole another time. You guys are awesome. This is absolutely amazing. It feels good to be back. <laughs> we missed you guys. I missed you guys. We did. I did. You know, I was gone for a couple of weeks. We we had a fantastic time. I tried to get Roy Air to go live last night, and you believe he was too tired. Unbelievable. Well, we just, I mean, we literally just got off the plane and got home. Unacceptable. I don't want to hear your excuses, Roy Air. I want to see results. <laughs> so we chose to go live tonight instead. We will be back on next Wednesday. We will be back on our normal schedule. So plan on us next Wednesday evening. We'll be back at it again. We just obviously got a little off track with Roy Air's traveling and everything. And so we have some new videos coming up. Our distillery tour from Matriarch is very high up on the list right now. Yep. It is it is actually being worked that out. That was so much fun. That's going to be coming so very soon. So we're going to be working on that hopefully in the next week here. Um, that one's going to be coming out. And then uh, we have all kinds of new reviews coming for you guys from I, you know all I, over I the world. I didn't tell you this. I was talking to uh, John the other day. You were talking to somebody I was talking other to than me or mom? Yes, absolutely. Wow. Yeah, I, I didn't even know you left the house. <laughs> like, really? I really didn't even know what you did. But he said down. he might actually try and make it out our way. Really? Yeah. No kidding. So we might have... Uh, you know, a little video to do there. I've always been telling people I was a great vacation spot. I mean, if you're looking <laughs> if you've to never seen a cornfield, come on. Iowa. It, I mean, I'm just saying there's so much here. We have Brandon has Iowa's largest frying pan. That's like 20 minutes up the road. And let me tell you, it's in the middle of a cornfield, like everything here. And it's just a giant frying pan that you can stand in. Pretty cool, right? Pretty much. Pretty, pretty cool. We also have, uh, you know, the Field of Dreams. It's a baseball field. <laughs> In the middle of a cornfield, also <laughs> pretty nowhere. Pretty neato, right? We're getting an a, a, uh, an actual MLB game this year. Cool, wow. cool deal. It only costs ten thousand dollars a ticket, so whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying, whatever. Uh, we have the day that music died, Buddy Holly. You know the crash there. Yep. You can go out to that Clear Lake. Guess yep. what? It's literally a 
a field yeah. with a plaque. That's that's it. So don't expect a ton, but it's out there. Uh, so what else? I don't know if okay, we have any. Stop talking up Iowa. You're gonna have everybody in the world wanting. So to many come people here. are gonna be traveling here yeah, now. So I, I just know, helped right? you guys out with your vacation plans. You're welcome. There's so much to do here. Yeah, it's so much. Huge, huge. <laughs> and if you think that's great, wait till you get to the bowling alleys. I mean, it just gets better. It's just better. Hey, we got a new one coming up, right? It's gonna be opening soon. I'm we do. Excited. We are getting a new bowling alley. I'm. Ex- I mean, the old one burned down, but we are getting a new bowling alley, which I'm really excited about. So that's exciting. So we got some people joining us. Here. All right, here. Great. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for the thumbs up coming in yes. here, guys. Those, uh, helping us Richard grow that community. Us. He, uh, yeah. oh, that's a sad story. Missed you guys. Was drinking by myself last night. No. Oh, say it ain't so, Richard. No. All you got to do is turn our videos on and you're never drinking alone. <laughs> we're there, we're for, there you, for you. All you got to do is turn on the you. YouTube channel. It's on there. Just click a video. It's like we're right there with you. Yes, and we will be back on schedule. On schedule next week, Wednesday night. We'll be yep. back on. We will. Your channel name, R and R and R. We got Roger and Robert and Rum. There we go. That's <laughs> what it is. It's what we do here. And raisins. Zachary. R and R and R and R. We got to add raisins. Zachary, good evening. Good evening. Good to have Zachary here. He's yep, a real yep. smart person. Glad he's here. Yes. Uh, the frying pan. I'm there. The chef's coming. <laughs> yeah. Book their trip now. I don't know where they're from, but I'm going to tell you what. They are on their way There's to Iowa. Hotel 6, just up the road a little ways. <laughs> Hey, we got, place to stay. we got a Hampton Inn now, so, I mean, that's... We do, don't we? Yeah, we yeah. just got a brand new Hampton Inn on the river. <laughs> pretty cool. There's not even a cornfield you can see from it. Wow. That's pretty cool. It's in the. It's in uh, town. Are you sure? It's in town, Yeah. right? Um, we do have a city here that you can't see a cornfield We don't all from. ride around tractors. We promise. It's pretty cool <laughs> when you get here. I love when you go to small town Iowa, so this was the best thing. I'm going to tell you Iowa stuff now because I'm kind of on it. I was out driving. We ended up in Dysart, Iowa. Again, I know you guys have never heard of this, right? <laughs> so purpose, you went so they had a sign that says, come check out historic downtown Dysart. So I was like, I'm going to go check it out. I drove down there. There's like six buildings. It's like six <laughs> buildings and a bench. It's the whole field, the whole place. It's Dysart. I'm like, Wow. Very nice. Thank you. Good and there's take a, pictures. There's a Casey's on the way out, too. So it's like every everywhere in Iowa has a Casey's. Like Casey's every corner. Star. Every corner has a Casey's, right? So I was like, great. That's everything you need. There's like six buildings and a few houses. And, and historically, it's historic. You're going to love it. It's amazing. So, Mike, you forgot to mention the sandy beaches of Iowa. Yes. <laughs> Yes, yes, another great plus of Iowa. of Iowa is the sandy yes. beaches at the lakes yeah. here. I don't go snorkeling <laughs> at the sandy you won't beaches see of anything. Iowa. It's very murky, very murky lake water. Mm. It's not very clear. Not Sorry about that. Uh, but you, we do have sandy beaches. It's not. I don't know if it's real sand. Is it con- like construction sand? I don't know. Oh. They they bring out dump trucks and put the sand there, so yep. it's 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 not super natural. Otherwise, it's just a muddy hole with water in it, <laughs> <laughs> which is what we used to have. So <laughs> Iowa life, we love it. Midwest, it's yeah. great. It's great. Come vacation here, you guys will love it. We guarantee it. You'll love it or you'll hate Iowa, it. Iowa Iowa popcorn pending. That's awesome. Yes, he the chef's we, coming. We we actually do have some good popcorn. There's some good popcorn I mean, companies that actually built their name here. I can't think of any at the moment. It's good. <laughs> but, but there's some good ones. But I'm there's sure, some good ones. I'm sure of it. I'm sure there's some I'm good sure ones, guys. Is. Like, we have great popcorn companies. We do. Why wouldn't we, right? Well, yeah. they're all cornfields. Well, so. I mean, if it gets too hot here, the fields just start popping out there. <laughs> It's a sight to see. <laughs> but just, it's about 99 degrees out there. They're just popping just like crazy. Dri- just driving through the fields. <laughs> just kidding. That doesn't really happen. No, For those of you who are about to Google if it yeah, actually pops no. in the high heat. Say, we'll save I'm gonna you the save you the, I'm going to save you the yeah, click. It, it doesn't, doesn't really happen. It doesn't actually happen. No, like not that. like that. It'd be cool, though. I definitely would go do that, but it does not, unfortunately. That would make this place even cooler than it already is. So yep. we love it. Thank you for the comments, guys. Thank you for coming in, hitting that like button. We love having you guys. Yep. Um, I don't know how we got on the Love of Iowa tour here of talking about how great Iowa is. I'm not Iowa sure is. either. I think you brought it's amazing. us there. It's amazing. I don't think I did. I don't know. I think it was you. I'm pretty sure you did. I think Royer was just saying how back. much he missed it. I, I really want to crack this baby open. Today. I know. You do, but we're not going to. Right. Because there's just too much rum to open up. There's too much. And earlier I talked about like, so like Deadhead. So like, listen, these bottles are super cool. I don't know. I'm I'm liking this. I'm liking this. I don't know. I don't know. 
If you want to see Royer open a bottle of uh, rum tonight and open it on screen, we're going to need some more thumbs up yeah. than 10. I'm yeah. just saying. We're going to have to get a lot higher it's number. Gonna have and to we're coming in here in the last 10 minutes, so I don't know if we're going to get up there or not. But uh, <coughs> Deadhead has some chocolate rum here that is absolutely amazing. I'm going to give you a little head scoop on it. We haven't yeah. done this review, but it's a chocolate rum. It's very natural, very smooth, very sippable. Great dessert rum, very yummy. Oh, you very, guys will not be very disappointed. Good. Very not disappointed in I, this. I would suggest putting that on your vanilla ice cream. Oh, yes, I bet that would be awesome. It would be awesome. I definitely, I definitely would have it with some ice cream, something like that. It's a great dessert rum. Which, honestly, you find a lot of dessert rum that has a lot of sugar stuff in it. Kind of. Uh, yeah. This is not this, very natural, very not. smooth. It's a very elegant rum. It's very, very yummy. So you definitely, definitely want to try it. Yes, they do. So, Shrunken so head, yeah. Richard, you've uh, bam. There you go, bam. Right there. We do have the shrunken head bottle as well. This is their aged. Let me read here. So what do they got? This is the aged rum. Um, so this is this is. Uh, I think that's six years. Six years? Is it six? Yep, it is six years. This is a six year aged rum. Um, so we're real excited about this one too. We we got a chance to sample a lot of these, meet the distillers, talk with them, yeah. and of course we saw the bottling and we're like we're ordering all of them. <laughs> yeah. So we got a couple of cases. We got to get us a couple of those. So not a couple of cases. Sorry, we got a couple of boxes of yeah. different Mexican <laughs> rum. It's not all just. I promise we didn't just get two cases of Deadhead rum. We have a lot of other rums we went through tonight yeah, that we got. Be married if that happened. <laughs> we're not married. I don't know what you're oh. implying here, but the wife, <laughs> the wife upstairs. Yes, wife upstairs. She'll still love you. Uh, that just add more rum. I, not, not if I order a couple of gates. She just needs a rum and it'll be fine. Mom <laughs> loves rum. Once she has it, she'll be fine. No problem. So uh, the chef came in with a bottle envy is real. Yes, the bottle of envy <laughs> is real. It's a cool bottle. I encourage you guys go to rumratings.com. You can order it uh, from rumratings.com. I'm going to plug rumratings.com here for a second. They have been gracious enough to let us be a part of their a uh, lot of different things. A lot of different things. They've sent us their sampler packs. They've sent us a lot of rum that they ship. They'll ship right to your doorstep. It's a cool place to go read reviews on rum. If you guys can't get enough of us on here uh, talking about rum, right? You know, and we don't, we're not putting out videos fast enough. You can go read about some rums there. They have people can give their opinions. You can keep your own shelf and then you can order rum to your doorstep. And then they have private Zoom things too with distillers that you can upgrade to. So it's pretty cool. That's a good idea, Mike. <laughs> just, just tell her one of the fans of the show must have sent the cases to you. Yeah, that'll happen, there you right? Go. That'll happen. Everybody buys his cases around. Oh, yeah. That happens all the time. <laughs> you start a YouTube channel and people just start and you start sending you, sending you stuff. boxes of rum. Just kidding. It doesn't really work like doesn't that. Happen we that pay way. we pay for pretty much most of what we most get. Not what all of it, but you know we have been gracious enough to get. Um, grateful enough to get some distillers to send us yes. some sneak peeks and stuff, but we do pay for most of our rum. So we don't make we do. any money from this yet. We hope to get there soon, but, uh, when okay. we, when we do, we're going to make sure we're giving you guys that extra value. If we're going to get paid for this, we're going to make sure that you guys are getting way more value than just one or two videos a week. We want to, we want to bring some extra for you guys. So we're hoping to build to that someday right, right now. now it's just about building the community. Building the community, Making having Making those fun. connections with you. Yeah, drinking rum. Your friends, whoever enjoys the rum, you know? I mean... Whoever enjoys the rum. Who doesn't enjoy enjoys rum? enjoys the rum. I don't know. Choose your friends wisely. They're not enjoying the rum. <laughs> I actually have a friend that that doesn't like rum. Who I don't, is that? I don't even talk to him anymore. Like, I just, oh, yeah. like stop yeah. talking to me. I left him forever. <laughs> dropped him on the side of the road. I was like, what the hell? I'm Get just kidding. It's actually my best friend. So... <laughs> It's actually my best friend. Shout out Connor, Connor. right? He likes hey, whiskey. Connor. Whiskey. Can you believe an <laughs> Iowa person just likes whiskey? <laughs> what the hell? But he is from the Midwest. I don't even know. You know like us. I got to choose my friends better. I'll tell you what. <laughs> this is why we started this whole community because I was just ashamed of everything we had going on there. So I just had to start this community. It's amazing. I know he's not watching, so I can say whatever I want. I'm sure he's not watching because he doesn't drink rum, right? So we appreciate you guys all jumping on here. Um, we appreciate all the love and comments tonight. The yeah, thumbs ups tonight. We got to 12. It's absolutely amazing. Um, we are coming into 54 minutes, but heck, you got nine of you guys on here. We got thumbs up. You wanted to crack into some rum. Why don't we just freaking do it? Really? Let's do it. I'm voting it. Blackberry rum. I don't have the lemonade made. You don't have lemonade. We can try it on its own. Why can't we try it on its own? Right here. We'll save right. the lemonade for the video. We're just going to pour some in the bottle. Let's crack this puppy right here open. In front. In front of everybody. Let's see, let's, have, let's see how blackberry it really is. Huh? I'm curious. Blackberry rum. I've never had a blackberry rum, but I'm curious as to 
how sweet it will be. Is it dry? You know, if it's all natural like that, sometimes okay. it can be kind of so dry. So you want? Okay, so I'm cracking this open. Cracking it open. I am. We haven't had it yet. You know, as everyone should know by now, we don't always. Well, actually, we never know what we're going to be doing. Never. We always do um, these anyway. The reason we can crack this open is we never script any show that we do. Everything is brand new as you see us open it and try it in front of you. <laughs> and the cool thing is, is Just Rum loves us, and we've trashed one of their bottles of rum <laughs> we really did. harshly but they, but they still love us but they still love us the simple white go watch the video right we we went pretty heavy hard on that we know there's a group of people out there that loves that this rum. Wasn't for us not for us though for but us. they are such great people they're great they were great sports about it and so we're glad to have built okay, that so friendship. i'm gonna read the back label okay Good. so oh. we're, we're gonna do a little backstory on this okay so this is on their label oh oregon blackberry infused rum uh, starting with our barrel strength, pure cane, single pass. Uh, single this pass. is great. As soon as he said that, I was looking at the word size, yeah, and I was I like, know. this is a venture. My eyes aren't okay. quite. This is a venture. He's, he's stretching here. <laughs> I, I'm trying. Wow. Stick with me. Wow, it's amazing. <laughs> Give me a chance. I believe in you. This is great. <laughs> okay, so single pass, pot still, white rum, uh, 114 to 122 proof, and a food grade. Barrel one third full of ripe Oregon blackberries. We top the barrel and let it and let it steep. After a minimum of sixty days, the proof of the rum has fallen to around ninety from extracting the blackberry ju juice. The infusion is then brought to eighty proof. With only distilled water, nothing else added. It's just rum and blackberries. Tasting notes. Light florals and a hint of blackberry on, on the nose, on the tongue, and the mildly tart, dry, and taste of just ripened, unsweetened blackberries. Mild spice and nutty finish. It's amazing. It's beautiful. That was beautiful. It is. It is. Okay. Thank yeah, you. Whatever. So first of all, <laughs> we're gonna crack this baby. First open. of all, for those of you who watched and Royer didn't notice because he was focused on yeah, reading. Yeah, yeah, thank yeah. Thank you for the Mortal Co Combat voice. Finish it. Yes, you're welcome. <laughs> I did. It's gone. It was amazing. It was absolutely delicious. Uh, so Just Rum loves the whatever. honesty. My dad has a barbecue truck, and feedback he received has formed uh, a product now, which is amazing. That's awesome. That's cool. That is awesome. Just uh, that's cool. that's really cool. So okay, so let's get out the uh, tasting glasses. We're, we're gonna get out the tasting glasses. We're there going we official. Go. We got we have official tasting glasses. We, we need to get some actual like the different ones. These are these are a little bit different. I know we have yeah, different these, ones these for different, different things. Kind of we're gonna upgrade glasses. glasses. We've just been spending all our money on rum lately, so not so much the glasses we drink them out of. All right. Whoa, that's. <laughs> we're going. We're going. All right. This is it, team. We're doing it. This is because what is this? Fifty? No. This is this is eight hundred percent alcohol. This guys. is forty percent. Okay. So what? What I was drinking tonight. So it's a little lighter than their normal is, rum. This is a one hundred two proof. Okay. okay. So this. Okay. So, so this, this is, is a little, little lighter. lighter. All right. It's forty percent, okay. eighty proof. Yep. We call that light here. All right. <laughs> we do. Good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> So I can't believe we're actually doing are this. Are you ready? Let's let's check this out. Whoa. It smells like a fine uh barreled wine. Like a it does. bourbon barreled wine. It actually but smells a blackberry. Like an oh, oak barreled I wine. Love blackberry. Yeah, it smells like an oak barreled wine with extra kind of that berry scent off the top. This Man, is... it has that perfectly. It does. It smells it smells absolutely delicious. This. I want to taste it. No, you can't okay. have any. Nope. <laughs> The bottle's open. We got this ain't far, no and now, now we're just going to stop. The video's done. Nope. Ain't no stopping me now. Here we go. Oh, wow. You know what? This does. This, I've, I've had wines that... that th This is good He's stuff. jumping around back here. He's this, like, is, this is some good stuff. I can only... 
I wish I had some lemonade. What? I wish lemonade. I had some lemon. I wish I had some lemonade. This so, would be awesome. So I'll give you guys a first take on this. We're gonna do a whole review, right? But you're gonna get a sneak peek here. So this is actually, if oh, you wow. were to picture a, an oak barreled wine, but it's a little bit drier. Um, a little bit this more very good. of a dry version of that. So it's not so wine because it doesn't have all that sweet berry you get with like grapes of wine. So it's just that blackberry flavor in there. So it gives that scent. It has that color. But when you drink it, it's a lot drier, but it's very smooth. There's almost no heat to it. It's very smooth. It just has a nice dry flavor to it. Um, it goes down nice and easy. Slowly fermented, distilled, steeped in blackberries and bottled. Bottled on the flanks of Mount Hood in beautiful Sandy, Oregon. It's amazing. It's amazing. It was beautiful. So you've seen it here first. We tried it here first. We're not grading it. We're not getting into all no, the details. No, we, we aren't. Um, but, but it was pretty, I, it was pretty cool. I will cool. say this is pretty damn it good. It's pretty cool to uh, get to try this rum right here for you guys. Uh, you guys deserve it. We've been gone for a couple weeks, so we owe you yeah. one anyway. So you're welcome. Um, finished my bottle of Blue Chair Bay Spice Rum feeling good. Heck yeah. Oh, especially yeah. if it was full when you started. <laughs> Like a true champion. And I love I love that they always put the pickle picture on there, right? Zach, Zachary is one of the smartest people on our show, I swear. Just a prodigy. Absolutely amazing. Uh, Blue Chair Bay is very good. Yes, it is. I love it the is. conversation here. Um, drinking Havana Club right now. Yes. We actually wow. have a bottle of okay, Havana so Club. We haven't had it yet, but it is coming. We, we are getting into it. We did pick one up. <laughs> Might pour up the Captain Morgan private stock, though. Yes, I love yep. Captain Morgan private stock. Captain Morgan it's private great stock product. If you good. drink Captain, you're looking for something a little bit more next level. Private stock's amazing. It's an absolutely great step up. I'm, I'm going to say right now, you know, if you – it really doesn't matter what, what you're drinking. Just As just long as en- it's rum. Just, <laughs> just enjoy it. You know, for for what it is, just enjoy it. Isn't it better, though, when you it's know, rum? The, Doesn't it just well, make you- the thing that I hate that drives me nuts – is you know we, you know we get these people that tell us, well you're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. You're, I didn't you're know that right. you could drink wrong. Really? I'm not really? drowning, huh. so we're, I feel like I'm doing, doing it, it wrong. I feel well, like I'm doing it I right. I don't feel like I'm doing it wrong. That's right, guys. There's you no know? right or wrong way. There's no. only the way you enjoy. And no yeah, matter just, what anyone else's opinion is, if you enjoy it. Straight. Try new rums. Try it mixed. Try it with whatever. Try it some different ways. These are great rums. We show you guys new products on here, and we love doing this because you get to have new experiences and maybe try a rum or see a rum that maybe is on your shelf or maybe isn't that would cost a little bit of money, and you're not real sure. But at least this way you get to kind of see a little background before yeah, making that well, purchase. Here's the thing. If, if you've watched some of our videos, you know better what I like. You know better what Robert likes. Right. And if you can kind of match up the flavors a little bit, then you can tell, okay, well, Royer likes that one. So yep. I know that I'm going to really like that one. Yep. You know, or, the, or the same thing for Robert. Or right? if neither of us like it, it's usually in that Jamaican pot still category. And if you're the, in the Jamaican the, pot still category. The, the funky. The go, funky. The funky, the funky flavors. Yeah. You, we have a whole section of rum for you. We yes, absolutely do. We do. You can come drink all of ours, too. You're more than welcome <laughs> to. It'd absolutely be amazing. Um, your bottle rules. Your bottle, your rules. That's there you right. go. That's right. There you go. That's exactly right. That, that's Drink rum the way you enjoy yeah. it. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. You get into the rum community. One of the things we did here is we met a lot of people that told us the right way to do it, um, that we weren't doing it they, the correct way. They were the way. pinky up crowd. Um, and, you know, that's okay. <laughs> we're not the pinky up. We're not, though. And, and that's okay. We encourage those people who like that on the racks, who like to drink it on the That's fine. Um, but there is a whole group of people out there that like to drink it mix, like to do it differently. And everyone's welcome in this company, in, in this community. Uh, you guys are all able to drink it the way you like it. There is no right or wrong here, just the way you enjoy it best. And, and that's okay. I, I just so. like to try and keep this a judgment free zone. Judgment free. Right? This is a safe space for rum. That's right. For only if, rum. If you, in, if you enjoy rum, this is a safe space. If you drink vodka, you. we're coming at you hard. Right <laughs> just kidding. Gin. I'm just hey, kidding. Let's gin. Not even bring up gin. Don't even get me started. <laughs> coming over there. Coming through the screen. Right at you. Just kidding. I'm just kidding. This is a non threatening video. We're very oh, tame. Yes. Remember, very I'm only 69 inches tall. I can't I can't hold my own. <laughs> Blue Chair Bay Spice is a good rum and used in a painkiller. It's my favorite drink. I love it. They actually took it out of our liquor stores here. Um, They did. I'm not really sure why. I think they took it out because we we keep ordering in more, um, and we're forcing them to expand their rum shelf space, but they're reaching a point where we might be pushing it further than they expected. And so I think they're getting rid of some of the older ones that they've had. 
Um, and since it's more of a mainstream and we order in a lot of craft stuff, I think it got filtered out. Um, so I got to find another liquor store that carries it. I prefer more smoky rum and always neat. neat. Love it. Absolutely. Very nice. I And, you know, I found it's very great with food. Uh, oh, yeah. Cigars. They're, they're, they're different. I, yeah. I love having it uh, neat. Can't pair um, those up. On the rocks, you know, something like that with, with something like that with a cigar, food, steak, meat, like something like that. Such a great way to enjoy. Rum. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Love, it. Love, yeah it. love it. Love it. Even if you don't like doing it like that, I recommend you guys go try to find one that's meant for that um, because it's just it's a cool experience and it usually does enhance your flavors. I'm going to do another shout out here. OK, so here, here we go. Katy Perry. <laughs> this no, one's for you. Actually, th this is, you know, we're talking about rum on its own. This is this is one of my favorite rums. That I truly enjoy on its own. Absolutely. I really do. There's a lot of really good rums out there. Um, Doc Brown's Really Bad Rum. Doc Brown's Really Bad Rum is a very good, uh, it's just a delicious rum. It, But it just depends, you know, all the rums that we have back here, you know, I don't necessarily have, I mean, there's probably five go-to rums that I have. You know, and uh, Captain Morgan. No, <laughs> no, no, that's that's not that's not that's not for me. But um, Doc Brown's is one. Uh, Just Rum is one. Modern Matriarch is one. I really, truly enjoy the smaller craft distillers because they put more love into the rum that they're making. You know, and they're trying their hardest to really make a good product. And there's so many good craft distillers out there that are making an awesome rum. And Just Rum is one of those. Um, Doc Brown's Really Bad Rum. You know, you can see that sign right below the sign that Just Just Rum sent us. Modern Matriarch. Modern Matriarch. They're another one. They're an Iowa. So listen, rum, listen, guys. Places, here's, we're, right? I mean, let me let me just bring this into perspective here. Uh, COVID hit hard. It hit a lot of businesses, a lot of people, but it hit the craft rum distillers as well. Yeah. And so one of the one of the things is we try to do is we know that they are, are really pushing for new people to come try new stuff. And it's been really difficult for them to go out because they haven't been able to go out and get those sales meetings. Yeah. And so it's really important for you guys to order those into your liquor stores because they can't get to those liquor stores. Go, go seek them. They're out. just now getting back out on the road, they being are. able to do that. And so they've lost so much time. And so for you guys to go out there, order something like Doc Brown's Really Bad Rum. If you guys have a high V in your area, you go tell them uh, they can get it to you. They can. Yes. And if yes. they need a code email Doc Brown, ask us. It's on the Facebook page. Um, we can get you the code to get it ordered because it's worth it. It's amazing. You're showing support for somebody coming in and taking away from some of those bigger brands and giving you a more natural, beautiful product. Absolutely amazing. If, if you are if you really, truly want to try some of these uh, different rums that, that we mentioned here and you're having trouble getting it, you know, contact us. Maybe there's something we Maybe can do. We can there's try something that we can try. We and have do hookups. To help you. you know, rumratings.com ships yes. to doorsteps. We can try to find a way to get it to you guys. Yep. If your liquor store is not bringing it in, you give us their number. Yeah. We will sure we'll call try. Them. We'll I, call, I will them. call them. We will call them for you. <laughs> yeah, I will call them because we bother our we will bother our uh, our <laughs> our liquor stores a lot. They know my face now. Yep. They, I come in there and they can't BS me around anymore because I've already called them on that. They didn't like that very much. When <laughs> I, I literally like called up the distiller like right in front of them. They were not fans yeah, of that, right? They, they really I don't were. encourage that, but you can. Um, so, you know, it's one of those things that we, we have no problem going out and doing it because we want to get you guys that good rum, get it out to you, yep. and we'll do whatever it takes to get it to you guys. We so. want to help you. We, we do. We want to get more rum all, all out to you guys. And we the, want the community to grow and enjoy the, more together. These, these craft distillers, I mean – they really put a lot of love and care into the rums that they're making yes. and putting out there. This is great. I love it. Here we go. Ready? Shout out, Ben Franklin. We enjoy the electric. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Ben Franklin, this one's for this you. This one's for you. We truly enjoy oh my gosh. the electric. That's Michael McAllister coming in hot there with the shout out to Ben B. Franklin. B. Frank over there getting the shout out. It's awesome. <laughs> the liquor store where I live just got bamboo, and I plan to get a bottle tomorrow. Absolutely. Absolutely. Awesome. That's awesome. That's a good rum. It is that a good is. rum. They've been expanding. They just yep. added a cream rum not yep. too long ago, so they're up to three rums. They have their original, the spiced uh, XO, and then they have the cream rum now, yep. so they got three, so they're expanding. Good for them. 
Um, they've really ventured into a big brand kind of asset. So uh, yeah, they're. I mean, they're getting bigger, they, but they're still not huge. But you know, you it's know? one of those things where it's a new rum. Have people try something new. Get off all that old stuff. That Captain Morgan Spice, Bacardi. You know, all the, all the regular stuff that I'm, everyone always. You know, carries. I'm going to jump in here. I've said it. If I've said it once, I've said it a zillion times. A zillion, exactly a zillion. If Count. you have a favorite bar, favorite restaurant, you know, the place that you like to to go to. Right? I don't have one of those. I have a bowling alley. <laughs> you have a bowling alley. <laughs> and a Casey's. Go go in and just ask the owners, ask the managers, hey, can you get something in here a little bit different than Captain Moron? I mean Captain Morgan. And um we're gonna get a letter. Yeah. Gosh dang it. <laughs> Gosh dang don't it. don't take Darn us it. down. Don't take us down, Captain. <laughs> we're so sorry. We're just we're just rum lovers, we promise. We're just, don't, don't do it. <laughs> but you know, go go ask for something different. You know, there there's a lot of different rums out there. Um, just ask for something different. You know, you don't you don't have to just stick with the normal stuff that everybody else is drinking. Ask for something different and special. That's you right. Know? That way, when you're going to that special place that you enjoy so much, it makes it feel just a little bit more special because you know what they ordered something in specifically. For you, because you asked for it. We hope you've enjoyed Royer's <laughs> TED Talk this evening. <laughs> he put I'm his sorry. heart and soul into it. He's very passionate. I am very passionate. Simmer down that. over there. We're gonna have to get you your blood medicine here pretty soon. Okay, <laughs> and bring that, that heart rate down a little bit. I'm very uh, passionate. Get about you, that. your heart pills. You're right. So you just gotta calm down a little bit. But all yes, right. yes, simmer down. You're getting all heated <laughs> over here. It's making me nervous. It's making me real nervous. So we appreciate you guys being here. We, we're running extra long for you yes. guys tonight. We usually hit an hour. It's 10 minutes over. But, guys, you've honestly made this so much fun. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for hanging out Thanks with us. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for venturing in with us. You know, we only got. Otherwise, we'd just be a couple of guys drinking down in the basement. <laughs> we only got two extra <laughs> thumbs ups. If there's anybody on here who has not given us a thumbs up, let's Please. get those thumbs ups up. We love, we love getting them. We opened a bottle of rum for you guys, even with just two more, because you know what? Uh, we owed it to you guys. It's been a couple weeks since we've been on the live. We're looking forward to getting back on schedule next Wednesday with the regular lives, getting out videos on a regular basis. We we'll be been, there for you. We've been scrambled a little bit here, so we want to earn we want to earn your thumbs ups back. We want to get more of you guys on here. We really really appreciate you guys coming on here. You made it so much fun, Le Chef. Thank you. Thank you. Um, everybody who interacted, a huge thank you. Your the community is what makes this awesome. You guys are the best. Go check out Just Drinking After Hours over on the Facebook channel. Um, go 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 over go there. Check out the video love, Mike McAllister put out there. Yes, go check out that video. It's under the comment section of this live. If you guys want to see it over there, Jeremy Page, if you're still on. Uh, Post that picture out there, too. Put that picture up on the front. Maybe yep. we'll copy it over there. So yep. we got some fun stuff going over there. We'd love to keep the conversation going in the in the after hours. If you guys want to start random conversations, go over to the after hours. We will talk to you all week long. So we love having you guys on here. With that, Roy Air, let's get them home safe. I'll try. Always. Three years. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. No. Good take, thing I'm not driving. Take two. All right. Always. Drink responsibly, never drink and drive, and no rums were harmed during the making of this video. Just Royer's vocabulary. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Thanks Take so care. much.